Hey crafty friends, this is Jenny from crafttestimies.com and today I want to share with you this watercolor background stamp technique um, that I discovered from Jessica Frost Ballas who has all the sparkle.com. I think she did it for Heo Arts, but I fell in love with it. I was playing with it and I wanted to share it with you too. So the idea is pretty simple. You're going to use any watercolor media that you have to stamp with instead of using like a stamp pad. Now you can use a liquid watercolor marker, which is what I was testing and playing with uh, in this first example, but you could also use this stress stains, daubers, any stamp pads that you have that are water-based, things like gelatos or watercolor crayons, um, even just like regular felt tip water-based markers, all of that works. And the way you do it is you just drip some of your watercolor media on a non-stick mat. Now I'm using the Tim Holtz glass media mat, which is very fancy, but you don't have to use that. You can just use a piece of parchment paper or your regular craft mat. And then you're gonna mist it with a water or a shimmer spray. Now I'm a fancy princess and I like some shimmer spray, um, but I would use clear or gold or sparkle. You could also use a few drops of whatever like sparkly marker that you have, that works too. But you're just going to get those nice big fat droplets. You'll see the color kind of spring to life a little bit. And then you're going to go ahead and lay your background stamp on top of it. And I noticed that like not all of it was covered, so I kind of rotated it, I patted a little bit. And then you're going to press it into watercolor paper. Now, watercolor paper is really nice for this technique because it's heavy and it's meant to absorb and the paper is meant to um, allow these colors to move around a little bit. You can use heavy cardstock. I would use 120 weight or better, but the best results really are with the watercolor paper. So just a little heads up on that. So once you've gotten your first print, like I've done here, you can see the colors are still pretty separated on this background stamp, which I like. But then you can also go ahead, add a little bit more of your water or your shimmer spray and get a second print. And the second print may be um, a little more blendy, a little more ombre like this one is, or it could be just a little lighter and a little more pastel. Now this one got a little bit runny and it was kind of running into my other sample there. So I just patted it with a paper towel and um, that kind of kept it from running any more and it also kind of toned down the colors a little bit. But I just absolutely fell in love with it. And then this next part, I'm gonna speed it up and you're gonna see. So for this next sample, I've sped things up so we can kind of get through it a little more quickly, but I used some re-inker drops that I had. And um, then I started thinking about it. This is a six by six stamp. So I tried to kind of divide it in half so I would actually get four clean A2 card fronts. Um, and I stamped it and then I dipped it and I might've had a little more water in this next step. Um, but adding that little bit of a paper towel just kind of keeps the water off. And I'll be honest, if you're gonna use regular cardstock, and by that I mean a heavyweight cardstock and I would say like 110, 120 pound weight like a one sheet wonder or the Nina heavy cardstock. Go ahead and use this technique. It'll work fine as long as you dab off the excess with the paper towel, which of course will make it a little lighter and a little more watercolory to begin with, which I think is kind of the whole point. Um, but that way you don't have to keep investing in really heavy watercolor paper. So that's just a little workaround for you. But as you can see, I was able to stamp this one piece of paper four times and I got four nice clean card fronts from it. I will warn you, I reused my paper towel a little too much and I did get some smudges in there. So make sure you have a clean, kitchen roll or paper toweling to um, dab that off with. And for this version of the technique, I was using some more of those Jane Davenport mermaid markers, which I just love. And um, I also decided to try and use a stamp that was not completely rectangular. So I used this mandala stamp. And I wasn't sure how I was gonna like it because it wasn't a completely like all over repeat, um, but I'll show you here how it turns out. Uh, I also, I kind of like the very first stamp image that you get because it is maybe a little denser and you see the different color drops. You really kind of get that really good watercolory, almost like a tie dye effect um, that I really like. Now, once I added some of this gold shimmer spray, as you can see, I went back and reactivated it, but the Jane Davenport mermaid markers are so 
concentrated that, oh my gosh, like I just got print after print after print just by adding a little more shimmer spray. I also really like the shimmer spray. I'm not going to lie. I think it adds a lot to it. Um, so there you see it's it's really, um, you know, it bleeds out. You lose some of that fine line. But again, that's the idea of the technique. So as you can see, I fast forwarded a little bit through the video so that you can see that I just kind of kept filling in the little empty spots with the edge of the stamp and my all over pattern. I am just in love with it. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. And this shimmer spray with the gold flex, kind of love it. So let's go ahead and the next sample that I'm going to show you is actually using Distress Stain Daubers. And of course, you could also use reinkers. You could also use your Distress Oxides or your Distress Stamp Pads. Any of these water-based media are gonna work for you. Now this stamp background has a little more of a like an architectural geometric background and I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it. I really lost a lot of the fine lines in the first print that I took because it was really juicy. I was had a lot of water going on here. You can see all the bubbles. Um, but as I went on and I didn't add any more water, I kind of liked I kind of like the pattern even more. And as a matter of fact, this is maybe one of my favorite pieces overall. Um, I don't know if it's the color pattern or just the overall background, but again, I think this is absolutely stunning. It's beautiful and soft and rich, and I can't wait to make this into a birthday card for somebody I know and love. I'll show you those samples, by the way, at the end, so stay tuned for those. So here's one more using the Distressed Aubers, and this time I actually show you how I put them on the mat. I kind of forgot to do that in the last sample, and I used a couple of different colors. As you can see, I just kind of smash it down. Oh, that was actually a little bit of, uh, I think, Tattered Angel spray. So don't be afraid to mix the media. Just use whatever you have in whatever colorway you like. And I've gone back to this um, Roses All Over background. I think it's from My Favorite Things, but you can also buy it on Simon Says Stamp. I'll make sure and have a link uh, down below in the description for you because this is now my new favorite background stamp. By the way, also, you're going to get inky. I'm just going to warn you in advance that this is going to get all over your fingers. So don't feel like, you know, you have to save your manicure for this one or wear a rubber glove if you like. But on the whole, I just... I adored it and I'm gonna let you look at it because it's kind of like ooh, how's it gonna turn out it just turns out so pretty now also too if things are starting to get a little blah don't be afraid to put a little bit of drip of black ink in there too sometimes it's nice to have a complete contrast just like when you're doing printmaking with your gel press sometimes a little bit of black or a shocking color kind of wakes you up a bit um, but again stunning and again one more time just a second I'm gonna show you how it turned out at the end. I have made some beautiful backgrounds today. Love, 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 love. That has gotten a little crazier. I feel like there's maybe one more layer to this. I might have to add some yellow. But like, look, so you can use it with florals. You can do it with geometrics. Look at that mandala print. It's fantastic. Let's go make some fun stuff and stay tuned for some new videos coming up this week on Craft Test Dummies YouTube channel. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.